Scotty and our friend Boca Peace, the Richard Gear lookalike slash Kiplinger lookalike from Florida, our man, our one and only Boca. Boca Peace still in that with Jazzy Scotty. Little cuts like a knife. Brian Adams Apple here on Pride Month. We are coming up on Thursday evening because it is Thursday evening, and this is Bonfire with me. Bon Lee Johnson coming at you live from where? Tell them, Tisha. I'm not even going to say it. I'm going to let her say it in chat. Tisha, tell them where we're coming from. Coming up in this set, we've got the one and only Nico Sweden with his friend Martina Sweden doing some Sound of Silence, a little disturbed version of that. Where do you hear this? I got to listen to it a minute ago when he sent it to me. It may have been three minutes ago that he sent it, but at least he sent it, and it's getting played. Coming up after that, the one, the only, Odie, one Kenodi with his magical lightsaber doing some Leonard Skinner for us. It's probably my favorite Skinner song. It's not uh, the most popular one, which fits my M.O. I very rarely do I, like, lust over this super popular stuff, you know, like, you know, but I do sometimes not going to say I don't, but I do sometimes. This is not one of those super popular songs, but I do dig it. I dig all kinds of Skinner. I I haven't heard nothing bad. So we're going to kick it off with Martina and Nico, both from Sweden, both doing the sound of silence. Light it up! Darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping Left its seats while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound 
of silence. In restless dreams I walk alone, narrow streets of cobblestone, need the halo of a street lamp. I turn my color to the cold and when my eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon light that split the night and touched a sound of silence. And in the naked light I saw 10,000 people, maybe more. And people talking without speaking And people hearing without listening And people writing songs That voices never shared And no one dared Disturb the sound of silence Fools that I you do not know Silence like a cancer grows Hear my words but I might tweet you And take my arms and I might reach you But my
was ten Mama used to whip me But I'd go see him again I'd clap my hands and stomp my feet And try to stay in time He'd play me a song or two And then take another drink of wine Play me a song Cut it slow, cut it slow Well, I got your drinking money, tune up your dobro. People said it was useless, and them people are the fool. Cause Curtis Lowe was the finest picker to ever play the blues. Yes, sir. Curtis Lowe, that was the one and only OD1 Kenody waving around his magic lightsaber and entertaining the fuck out of us with a little Leonard Skinner there, the Battle of Curtis Lowe. Thank you, Odie, for that. I do appreciate it. That is my favorite Skinner song, and I love it so. Before that, Martina Sweden and Nico Sweden sang The Sound of Silence for us, the uh, disturbed version. Kicked ass. I mean... God, that dude can sing anything. He says he never plays rock and roll, but I found a little bit of rock and roll on his page when I went through. Might be the softer side of rock and roll, but it was still rock and roll nonetheless. Come up in this set, we've got Tisha and Maggie Muse doing some John Mellencamp for us. We've got Avi doing some uh, Howlin' Wolf. If you don't know who it is, look it up and find out. You, well, if you like the blues, you'll be more than pleased. So this is our beautiful and sexy set with the beautiful and sexy Maggie, the beautiful and sexy Little T, and the beautiful and sexy Abby singing some beautiful and sexy music for us. Kick it, girls. <laughs> They like to get you in a compromising position Well, they like to get you there and smile on your face 
Yeah, they think you're so cute when they got you in that condition. Well, I think it's a total disgrace. And I say, I fired a 30, 30 always wins. Well, I fired a 30, 30 always wins. Well, I've been doing it since I was a young kid and I come out grinning. Well, I fired a 30, a 30 always wins.
Howlin' Wolf. Avi, Avi Sings doing Smokestack Lightning. Oh, Howlin' Wolf. That's like she mentioned in chat. That's a, what they consider to be Chicago blues. He was the man, dude. Before that, we had Little T and Maggie doing some John Mellencamp. I'm a Mellencamp whore, I have to admit. It's kind of what I do. I like it. I dig it. I sing it all the time. I got a bunch of it open right now. If you slide on over to Smeagol, you'll find that out. You will find me under, shockingly enough, Von Lee Johnson. I don't. Well, yeah, I do. I come live there live out of my mama's basement, too. Hey, Tisha, what's up? Go, Jizz. You need to send us a picture of you outside smoking. <laughs> they had a cigarette in your lips. That's what we need, some smoking picks or some feet picks for some of the feet guys in here, whatever. You know, we have all kinds of weirdos. Pretty much any pick you send is going to get that kind of response. Yeah, I would love to have gone. I've been to the House of Blues in Cleveland. I'm talking to Avi in chat right now. She said we used to sit outside the House of Blues and listen. And I'm assuming you mean in Chicago. I don't know where you're from, or but... Uh, yeah, I've been to the House of Blues in Cleveland and in Cincinnati. And, uh, Bogarts is a good club down in Cincinnati for that kind of stuff, too. Great times, great times. Saw some good shows there. I assumed you meant Chicago. I used to work out of the rail yards in Chicago uh, for one of the trucking companies I drove for. I fucking hated it, man. <laughs> I don't know how you drive, Abby, but... 99% of the people in Chicago is like, it's, they fucking will run your truck and ass off the fucking road. They don't care. They don't care. Part of our training uh, at the Chicago office when I went in there for my local training, they had to teach me how to get in and out of the, uh, hey, beautiful. Abby just sent her a picture. She's so pretty. God, she can sing. God, it's ridiculous. But anyhow, part of the training was how to get in and out of the rail yards, how to switch, you know, rail cars around. That is smoking. You're right, Jen. Jen said that her pick was smoking. She is right. Abby is smoking. But part of the training also was how to, they had a special button on the trucks where you could hit it and it would release your trailer and you just drove out from under it if you're being robbed because She'll tell you this, that if you're driving through the downtown around the rail yards, the railroad trussels are, there's just enough room for a semi to fit under it. You may have two inches to spare. And what these thieves were doing was taking these four by four blocks of wood and they would throw them under your trailer tires as you were going under and it would pin you against the railroad trussel. The top of your trailer gets so you couldn't move, then they'd fucking rob you. So they installed those quick release buttons in the cab so you could drop your trailer. But they told you if you do this, you're fired. But if you don't, you're probably going to get at least beat up, if not killed. So, you know, no jobs worth that shit. So that's why they put them in. <laughs> it was just, what the, hey, look, there we go. The the the, the Kenodis in their uh, Christmas jammies. That's cute as fuck. Oh, there's Jen with her smoking pick. Now I see it. I had to back up and chat. Yeah, you're such a badass, Jen. <laughs> Here, I'm going to take a picture of me talking about you. That way you can see it. Yeah, right. Oh, shit. Got the fucking camera facing the wrong way. There we go. Right there, Jen. I don't smoke anymore, though. So I haven't smoked in God. See, my son was 10 when I quit. He's 32 now. So, yeah, 22 years since I smoked. That's another story for uh, another time. So coming up in this set, we have Tara Page. With Daniel, because that's the only one who'll join her for some reason. Now everybody's flipping the bird in the uh, chat, so bring it on. Woohoo! That's a nice shirt, Abby. That's pretty sweet. Where's your middle finger, though? Come on, everybody. It's, it's flip the bird. There's the beautiful and talented Sultan sending her picture into chat. You need to quit so bad. Oh, smoke. You still smoke, Odie? Oh, yeah, you need to quit. Is that your lightsaber? <laughs> Marlboro, the Marlboro lightsaber. <laughs> That's what you got. That'd be nice. I listen. I tried it all, man. I tried all those drugs to suppress it, the gums, all that shit. I went to the doctor, got prescriptions. Cold turkey was it. That was the one that won. I fucking just said fuck it. 
and I quit, and that was it. I never looked back. It sucked. It sucked giant donkey dicks, but it is what it is. Anyhow, back to the show. We got Tara and Daniel coming up doing Black Fours, and after that, we got the Clarky Blade, Clarky Malarkey and Sarah Lou doing Bad uh, bad Romance, the rock version. It's a Lady Gaga song, but it's, I like Lady Gaga. I can't lie. I can't lie. I, I, I just like her. I like, I like the way she acts. I like the way she sings. I think her music is awful most of the time for me. It's like dance music, and we know that's like, that's not my jam, but I, th I still think she's talented. And I can always appreciate good talent. Anyhow, I'm going to shut the fuck up now and play some Tara and Daniel. Tara is so cute, too. This is a great song. Good job, guys.
Plucky Malucky and Sarah Lou doing some bad romance. Little Lady Gaga cover doing the rock version of that. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Clarky, you keep that stuff coming, brother. I'll keep right on a playing it. My little British nugget, I love you. Before that, we had the beautiful Tara Page, the Canadian princess, with her little southern boy, Daniel K.W. 1985. Judging by his looks, that's probably the year he was born, I'm going to guess. Actually, he looks younger than that, but who knows? I'm not going to judge. Uh, well, actually, I will, just privately. Coming up in the next set, we have Hot for Teacher, Miss Gigi, with somebody named Platinum Pearls. Platinum Pearl Necklace. It's Pride Month. After that, we've got the incomparable Pagan Lady with her friend and mine and yours, Heather Carr, 27, doing a song called Dope Die Motherfucker Die. I don't know about you, but that might warrant me putting up the adult sign coming up in the next set. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Warning, 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 warning! This is an adult-oriented show. A partial nudity and cursing will occur. And the occasional foot porn or smoking porn, which is what they were doing out there tonight. Everybody sending their smoking fetish pictures. You sick bastards. I love you. Every one of you. So let's kick this set off with Gigi. She is French-Canadian, by the way, and from Australia. So I tease Clinton about that, but she's the actual one who checks both of those boxes. Tick this box, ticks that box. Tick every box but the one we want, right? Right? It's always that one box that gets ticked that nobody wants to get ticked that always gets ticked. But not tonight. Tonight, we're not ticking the bad boxes. We are only ticking the good ones. So let's kick it off with Drift Away from Gigi and Platinum Pearls. Day after day, I'm all confused. Help for the life to the pouring rain. You know that's the game that I to lose I'm feeling the strain Ain't it a shame? Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll And drift away Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll I'm wasting time Don't understand the things I do The world outside looks so unkind I'm counting on you to carry me through Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul I want to get lost in your rock and roll Boys are free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away Soul. I 
wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Oh yeah, give me the beat, boys, you free my soul. I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. skip right to uh the brandon song sorry about that folks there's an issue i i wasn't even thinking i had the show all <sighs> i had the show all set up and then somebody involved in that had a death in the family and i did <laughs> fuck man sorry about that we're gonna skip to the next song are you gonna take me home tonight
shit out. I got mortgages and homes, hell, I got stiffness in my bones. There ain't no beauty queens in this locality. I tell you, oh, but I still get my pleasure, still get my greatest treasure. Baby woman, you made a bad boy out of me. That kid dears, oh, I love it.
was our buddy Mersh from over there at that other station. Nothing wrong with the station. Mersh is over there, so it's pretty cool. But, yeah. Fuck about half those guys. <laughs> I don't fucking like them. I don't fucking care. But Mersh is cool as fuck. He's a good dude. Not a bad bone in that guy's body. And, yes, y'all know the station I'm talking about, and it's not the nice ones on my friendly list. It's the one and only station. It's not on my friendly list. Fuck them. Did I say that out loud? Yes, I did. It's 9 o'clock. It's time for Janaid and Hutton News. And apparently there was a five-car, three-buggy pileup at the roundabout. Well, last week we didn't have a roundabout. We had a stop sign. The wizards on the council decided to put a roundabout in. And when they did that, they also decided to close the road at the other end of my road and like three other roads in town all at the same time. This Normally I joke about Janae Nutt News, but this is all real. They closed like three fucking roads. <laughs> so yeah, it takes you like 25 minutes to get through a one block town now. Dumbasses. And apparently our... Uh, Hot and sexy single mother friend Miss West was mowing the yard in her bikini and Daisy Dukes again. So apparently they were putting the cones down to, uh, you know, paint the new lines on the road. And they must have been watching her instead of that. So the line went crooked and then the five cars and two buggies got into a big pile up at the roundabout. Doesn't sound like a huge tragedy, but there's only six cars in town, and one of them was mine, so I wasn't looking the wrong way. I kept my head up and my head straight. I would never, ever look at that hot, sexy beast in her bikini top mowing in her Daisy Dukes. That is not my style. I'm way classier than that. In other Janate and Hutton news, they finally decided to paint the stop sign green. WBAM Radio, your station, your music. I got my first real six string, bought it at the five and dime, played it till my fingers bled, was the summer of 69. From school, had a band and we tried real hard. Jimmy quit and Jody got married. I should have known we'd never get far. Oh, oh when I look back, back now, that time will seem to last forever. And if I had the choice, yeah, I always wanna be there. Those were the best days of my life. Complaining when you've got a job to do. Spend my evenings down at the drive-in, and that's when I met you. Yeah, standing on your mama's porch, you, you told, told me, me that it'd wait, wait forever. forever. Oh, when you held my hand, I, I knew, knew that, that it was now or never. Those were the best days of my life. Summer of 69 Men, we were killing time We were young and restless We needed to unwind Yes, nothing can last forever Forever, no In the summer of 69 yeah. summer of 69 oh, oh. and now the times are changing look at everything that's come and gone 
Sometimes when I play that old six string, I think about you, wonder what went wrong. Standing on your mama's porch, you, you told, told me that, that it lasts forever. Oh, when you held my hand, I knew that it was now or never. Those were the best days of my life. Oh, yeah. In the summer of 69.
Cat Call 33 doing the howling. Yeah, haunting. That was one of the words people used in chat to describe that. It was haunting and howling. Before that, we had Tracy Smith and a beautiful and talented Sultan doing Summer of 69 for us. Tracy sent that in to me. So I played it, and I played a little stinger that Saltam sent in to me before talking about WBAM, the little station with the big tower. That's right. I said it. We be small, but we got it where it counts, and that's where the people are. Our people are what matter. Our listeners, our staff, our chatters, our outside folks that, you know, only chat to me through text and give me little things here and there to make me laugh and make my day special. Thank you all. Thank you all for sending all your songs in and all your messages and all your love. It makes me do what I do. I was dog ass fucking tired all day. I felt like shit. I've been out in the sun for the last few days trying to get this concrete done around here. And it just beat the piss out of me. I felt terrible. I was just. I was, I actually considered canceling my show, but I haven't missed one yet, so I was like, fuck it. Even if it's bad, I'm, I'm going to do it. So, it's bad, and I'm doing it anyway. Har, har, har. It's time for Janate and Hutton weather. It's fucking raining right now, motherfuckers. Been outside hosing the concrete off. Sally Mancini came over and hosed it earlier. She usually only comes over for sex and food, but today she came over to hose off my concrete for some reason. So I let her because she eats all the food in my fucking cupboard anyway, so I figured, fuck it, might as well get something out of it. So it's raining. That's the weather. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain some more. Probably till about fucking Wednesday next week. <laughs> and then we're going to pour some more concrete. Yay. So I'll be working out in the rain tomorrow. So, yeah, that'll be fun. So that's your Janate and Hutton weather report. Coming up in this set, we've got the one and only Wally Ainsworth. I am Waldo Music on Smule. If you want to check him out and check out some of his crazy, uh, I don't know what you would call them, voice effects maybe that he uses on all the shit that he does. But I haven't listened to this one yet, so I don't really know. I haven't had a chance. Sorry, Wally. This He's going to do some Robert uh, Palmer. No. Yeah, Robert Palmer for us. After that, we've got Rosanna and Tisha again called, doing some Richard Marks for us. Tisha gets our only double play of the evening. It was a complete accident. I didn't know she was in there twice, or I would have kicked her ass out on the other song. Tisha sneaking in there like that, sending smoke and pictures. I know why she was trying to distract us with all those pictures now, because she snuck two songs in on me. Aha. Aha. Gotcha. I know your game now. You can play innocent all you want in chat. We know now. So anyhow, this is I Am Waldo. Wally Ainsworth doing Simply Irresistible. Buckle up, buttercup. You see it all, you see it all. How can it be Yeah. 
Just when I believed I could never want for more This ever-changing world Pushes me through another door I saw Do we break another rule? Let our lovers play the 
that's the one I've been searching for is right there. can't be over yet. I wasn't done listening to it. Damn it. That was Roseanne and Tisha doing some Richard Marks. Hold on to the nights. Before that, the crazy man Wally Ainsworth doing I Am Simply Irresistible. Wait a minute, that's me. He was just doing Simply Irresistible. Coming up in this set, we got Emason doing I have no idea what the fuck it is. I ain't gonna lie. It's called Graveyard Emotional Storytelling Guitar. I have no idea. I listened to it. It's a rap song. It's cool. Emo song is very good. He's very talented. Um, you guys probably enjoy this. I uh, I don't really know what to say about it other than let's listen to it. After that, we've got the Australian-Canadian Clint doing uh, a, a Depeche Mode song called Enjoy the Silence. So, there's that. There's that. I'm out of weather and I'm out of news for now. I might make up shit just to tell you. I don't know. But, yeah, because I don't do that already. Everything I do is straight out of the newspaper. Actually, there is a news story I'd missed. Apparently, um, if you if you all out there want to check out Janet and Hutton and you think I'm joking about this shit, they have a Facebook page. <laughs> And you'll see that while I am slightly poking fun at it, <laughs> there's a lot of truth to what I say in there. So check them out. They are, uh, I think it's, what is it? Little Town Big Name on Facebook is what they go under. So you can listen to read about people bitching about each other who ain't mowing their yard right. <laughs> I shit you not. But anyone who knows me knows that I'm into cryptid creatures been a Bigfoot, you know, everything but that fucking pussy Loch Ness monster, anything but that one. That one's a pussy. The rest of them are all badass. <laughs> yeah, that was a pointy joke. But anyhow, we here in Janet and Hutton have a cryptid creature. And only a few people know about it. I got to get the word out because I have spotted this thing myself. It is called the Janet and Janarler. Yes, spelled just like you think it is. And what it is is a coyote mixed with a dog mixed with a fox. So it kind of looks like a really big fox, but the tail's all mangy, and it's like rabid and nasty and crazy, and it's uh, like been threatening people and their animals in their yards. And it's only a matter of time for the Janaid and Janarler gets somebody. So everybody in Janaid, make sure you keep your kids on the leash and your dogs in the house couple of kids here and there wouldn't be bad if they got nabbed, but we don't want anyone's pets getting hurt. Anyhow, <laughs> keep your eyes peeled for the Janet and Janarler. Again, I think it's a uh, little town big name or big name little town, something like that. But it's there's some pretty funny shit on there if you, if you read it regularly. Most of it's pretty mundane and boring, but I find it funny as fuck when I do read it. Actually, I don't read it. My girlfriend reads it to me because I don't have Facebook. Even though it says I do, I don't. I haven't been on that page in two years. So let's kick off the Emo Son song, Graveyard Emotional. St I have no idea. This thing had like 18 names. So I really I really don't have a fucking clue what it is. <laughs> yeah, the Janet and Janarler. 
Yep, that's exactly how you spell it too, Miss West. <laughs> it's the Ch Nathan Janarler. Check it out. It's out there. I've seen it in the hayfield before. But here we go with Emus. <laughs> hey, girl. I couldn't help but notice, but you look exactly like my next ex-girlfriend. <laughs> you know I'm still with my boyfriend. I'm not going to cheat on him. You are kind of cute in a devilish way, though. Oh. Like violence, break the silence. Come crashing in into my little world. Painful to me, pierce right through me. Can't you understand? Oh, my little girl, all I ever wanted, all I ever needed is here in my arms. Was I very unnecessary?
Vows are spoken to be broken. Feelings are intense, words are trivial. Pleasures remain, so does the pain. Words are meaningless and forgettable. All I ever wanted, all I ever needed is here in my arms. Words are very unnecessary. All ever wanted, all ever needed is here in my arms. Words are very unnecessary, they can only do harm. All ever wanted, all ever needed is here in my arms. Words are very unnecessary. That was Clint with Enjoy the Silence of Depeche Mode song. I've got like seven conversations going on, and ain't one of them good. <laughs> I'm fucking crying over here. Oh, God, yes, foxes do eat seafood. Welcome to the show, Wally Ainsworth. Glad you could finally tune in. Um, Emo-san, with whatever the fuck name that song was, something about low-hanging fruit. I don't know. Something about... Hey, no. Ain't no skank on my hang low or something. Stank, as I know. Oh, emo song. Please send more in. I love that. That was a great. Now, we got another song come up in this set by Jen. And I have no fucking idea. It's got like the Waylon W on it. And then there's a date. So, Jen, if you could enlighten us, I'll give you a few seconds to think about that, please. What the fuck is the name of this song? If you don't think of it, and if you can't come up with the name, and there it is. It's, uh, you gotta stop. What do I gotta stop now? <laughs> Jen, I'm not, it's, this song says February 28th, 2016. This isn't the song you think it is. But if you keep fucking around, I'm gonna play the song you think it is. Yeah, is that the name of the song for real? February 28th, 2016, that's the name of the song? There's like a six-second delay between my question and her answering, so please bear with me. I have no idea. In a bar, near a car, in a boat, by a goat. Yep, that's what it is, she says. So this song is called February 28th, 2016. I just thought it was a typo, and they put the date in there, but apparently not. After that, we've got B.A. Fox, the foxy lady. And D Sharp, of course, because Daryl always sends in her song. So they're doing a song called Saving Grace. So let's kick this off with, it's by Co Wetzel. I don't know who Co Wetzel is. That doesn't do me any good. That might do some of my listeners good. K-O-E, 
Wetzel, like pretzel, only wetter. I think Sally Mancini said that, that she drinks her milk through one of those pretzel rods. Is that what a Wetzel is? And you suck it. Suck milk up through a pretzel rod, it becomes a Wetzel. Yes, we also. That is. <laughs> there is a uh, semi pro hockey team apparently coming to Janaid and Hutton, and they are going to name themselves the Janaid and Janarlers. That's what they're going to do. So, all five people that live in Janaid Hutton, we're going to build a ice rink out here in my backyard. We're going to do it old school. The Janarlers are going to play outside in the weather because we're badass that way. But anyhow, let's kick off this set with my friend Jan. Jen's going to do a song for us called February 28th, 2060. What the fuck kind of name is that? Come on, Jen. I bet it's good, though, because she has got a voice. Let's hear it. A bottle of whiskey under the seat Light a cigarette so he don't smell the weed And if he asks me to blow I'ma tell his punk ass to take me to jail I've been here time and time before Rocky Mountain to the Midway with every whore In a 25 mile circumference of this damned old town Singing la 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 let's fall over I can't hold it We you turn the music up? Let's play Critter, critter Who is sober enough To take me to Taco Bell? Last night was crazy, yeah The rain had been in my truck So we're golden, Lord We want to thank you again For watching over us When all we do is sin Let's go to Mr. J's Buy another case Pack of cigarettes And be on our way Back to the boneyard Oh, dear Lord Singing La, la, la Turn the music up Let's play Critter, critter Who is sober enough To take me to Taco Bell
passing sleeping cities fading by degrees not believing all I see to be so I'm flying over backwards country homes and ranches watching life between the branches below and it's hard to say B.A. Fox doing Saving Grace. I was talking to somebody outside of chat. We, uh, She said she recognized that song but didn't know it, know it. I didn't even recognize it. But after reading that, I just wondered if it was from that TV show, Saving Grace. Or, I don't know if it's really TV. I think it might have been on Netflix or one of those, you know, subscription places. I don't know. But before that, we had the beautiful and talented Jen doing February 28th, 2016. What a fucking name for a song. Come on, man. Come on. Let's see here. It is by Everlast. Okay. All right. I know Everlast. Everlast, I know. That song, I don't. Not surprising. I wasn't like, you know. Let's go out and listen to everything they Everlast put out, but I was aware. How about that? I was aware of Everlast. That's as honest as I can put it. Coming up in the next set, we got the hat, Nick D's Nuts. I haven't even tagged her yet. What a fucking piece of shit I am. See, at Nick 
There we go. At Nick These Nuts. Not Nico. Nico has already been tagged earlier. At Nick These Nuts next. Yeah. Better late than never on the tags, right? Yeah, that's right. We do uh, by the seat of our pants here on Bonfire with your host, Bon Lee Johnson, here on WBAM Radio. Badass music by our badass listeners. Played for you, our badass audience. After Nick D's Nuts sings her song, it's called Candy Rain. I've never heard it, never listened to this version of it. Can't get them all in, folks. Can't get them all in. We've got Pat O'Brien and Victoria D, who just recently left Chet. Victoria's still a friend of mine. So we're going to still play her stuff. And she's doing an Eagles song one of these nights, so I'm excited about that. I don't know how good it is because I didn't listen to the last few. Now, the very last song of the show I did listen to. That's why it's back there. Anybody who's been a consistent listener of Bonfire with me, Von Lee Johnson, coming at you live from my mama's basement, know that the two important songs are the first one and the last one. I picked my two, basically my favorite songs out of the, you know, I try to rotate who gets to open and who gets to close. But they, they're usually like, you know, two really good songs. If you get an opening slot and you get a closing slot, be proud of yourself. That means I fucking dig what you do. That's the best I can put it. So anyhow, this set we're going to kick off with Nick D's Nuts, the hat. And come around Christmas time, you'll get an explanation of why they call her the hat. Hopefully... Hopefully she does that for WBAM, too, like she does for the other stations. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'll ask her nicely. She's really cool, so she probably will. But we'll kick it off with Nick D's Nuts. She going to nick our nuts right now and do a song called Candy Rain. I have no fucking idea what it's about, what it sounds like, what it is. We are going to find out together. Light it up. Thank you. 
I don't know what happened, but I just heard a really loud crash and screech right outside my window. Like right beside where I'm sitting. What is it? Oh, that's the wheels on the bus. <laughs> here we go. I know you're home. You left your light on. You know I'm here. The night is thin. I know you're alone. Watch the party Your lover is gone Let me in Open your back door I just need to touch you Once more
All right, that was our friend Jen asking me to come over again because she a ho, we know. She wants some of that Bond sausage. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're getting to the uh, that part of the night again, folks, where we're all down to nothing but the short strokes. The finishing move is coming up. We got our friend DBK561, International Man of Mystery. He's going to be doing some, I am, I am disgusting, That's, but you love it. That's the sad part, Jen. Jen called me disgusting. I did snort. I couldn't help it. It was funny. She thought I forgot to play her song tonight. That's not going to happen. You are literally going to have to pay me that $50 ransom to get me to quit. And even then, that's only a maybe. But anyhow, old DBK is going to come up, and he's going to do some docking for us tonight, as only he can. We kind of asked for it the other night. We, uh, a couple weeks ago, he played uh, or sang some Cinderella for us. Then I put my shitty version of Cinderella on. And someone said maybe they wanted to hear some docking, so he sent me some docking to play for you guys. So here we go. This is the last song of the night. I hope you enjoy DBK singing Alone Again.
DBK561. Closing out the show for us tonight, doing some Doc and Alone again. I don't know if that's my favorite Doc and song or not, but it's definitely up there. I always like that softer, mushier stuff, but whatever, you know. To each their own, as they say. I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me tonight. I was feeling pretty low there when the show first started. I've been sick for a couple days. Just I overdid it and got a little too hot. And I don't do well in the heat. Never have, never will. I have to cover myself from fucking head to toe and it still doesn't do any good. Anyhow, that's another story for another day. Y'all brought me up and out and got me on this adrenaline kick that we call bonfire, and it worked. I feel much better. Now I got to calm the fuck down so I can go to sleep tonight. But thank you all for hanging out. Thank you, Miss West. Thank you, Sally Mancini. Thank you, everybody in chat. Jen, Odie, Tisha, Mrs. Odie. Abby was here for the whole show, though. I appreciate that. Tracy was here earlier. All y'all are appreciated and loved. Nico hung out for a long time tonight. That was really cool of him. You got to listen to some more of his music again tonight. That makes the show fun. When all y'all come and hang, I don't care if it's just five of us, like we're hanging out in the bedroom like they used to do back in the 80s and play our old tapes for each other and things like that. It's a good time. Good time. So with that, May. All of your skies be blue. May all of your lights be green like the stop sign in Janate and Hood. May all your ups and downs be between the sheets where they always should be. Sweet dreams, peace and love, much love, WBAM. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. This is Bonley Johnson. This was Bonfire. Good night.